Oh, the filters. Oh, I can't get enough of them. I chose this one for Jax. I don't know why this reminds me of Jax Taylor. A clown? Anyway, I thought you guys would like to just have a quick video in regards to the fact that, of course, Jax Taylor has huge amounts of tax debt. I know a lot more about Jax Taylor, but that's on the Patreon. I want to tell you guys just here a real quick overview. So we know that Jax Taylor bought a house in 2019 for $1.9 million. That's a like very expensive house, no? And he had that with his new wife, Brittany Cartwright. I actually am a Brittany Cartwright fan, so I'm kind of shocked she ended up with Jax. But let's just, we'll just keep going with this. I just want to take you through the house they bought in 2019 for $1.9 million. It's in LA. It's five bedrooms, 5.75 bathrooms. It's 3,700 square feet. It has the main house and a cabana. It has and a nice pool, a hot tub, a decent piece of land considering it's in LA. Not a lot of privacy, but I mean, it has a wall around it. I don't know. And then he bought her this diamond ring. It looks like it was like five carats. I mean, so the, the guy is doing well. And I think Randall Emmett was helping him too. I don't know, like get him into production or something. I think that's a more recent phenomena, but still it's there, and right? Inside is like marble and everything's brand new and shiny and well-designed, like an interior designer did it. And how is it possible that he owes $1.2 million in taxes for several, several years? I'm so confused. You guys, have you ever read the fine print of a tax lien? It's very entertaining. Let's do it. Okay. As provided by section 6321, 6322, and 6323 of the I Internal Revenue Code, we are giving a notice that taxes, including interest and penalties, have been assessed against the following named taxpayer. We have made a demand for payment of this liability, but it remains unpaid. Therefore, there is a lien in favor of the United States on all property and rights to property belonging to this taxpayer for the amount of these taxes and additional penalties, interests, and costs may accrue. And the name of the taxpayer is Jason M. Couchy. And that is AKA Jax Taylor. So this lien that Jax has is a 1040 lien, which means it is on his income taxes. He didn't pay proper income taxes, they believe. Now, this first tax period he didn't was uh, December 31st, 2014. And they uh, recently assessed him in 2019, and his last day of refiling his taxes is 2030. And they believe he owes $22,978.45 for that period. He has another income tax lien that's December 31st, 2018. And the date of assessment on that one was September 21st, 2020. And his last day to fix that one is October 21st, 2030. And he owes $198,190.36. He has a third one on income taxes for December 31st, 2019. Okay, Which and the date of assessment on this one is October 12th, 2020. And the last day of refiling is November 11th of 2030. Now, Jax has an unpaid balance of assessment on that one for a whopping $646,867.04 because the government doesn't leave those little cents out either. The total amount due on this lien is $868,000.35. Oh, excuse me, my goodness, $868,035.85. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So he's got to be freaking the F out because now any equity that he had in that beautiful $1.9 million house he bought in 2019 is owned by the government. So in other words, if he sells his house, the IRS gets it all. Now, it also came out in March of 2021 that he owed, uh, he had a tax lien on for state taxes of $316,571.43. 
But that is a, a state tax one. I don't think that they're as hard as internal revenue, right? So now what he has to do is he's going to have to hire an accountant to try to negotiate with the IRS to get that number way down and also the state of California to say that like they're wrong in some way, that their calculation is off and that it should be much lower and then he's gonna need to pay it and they're gonna have to argue away the penalties and fees and if he doesn't deal with it, it's gonna become a real problem. And it's going to impact his wife if they own that house in their names because it will impact their assets, you know? So, oh my. So Jax doesn't believe he was fired, although he said some stuff that we all know got him in a lot of trouble, but we won't go into that for this video because you guys know it anyway. So, but his perception is that he wasn't fired. It was a mutual decision. The show needed a revamping to reattract young people to the show, which was their core audience, which they lost. And so, and they don't miss it when they see them filming. They're like, you poor people aren't able to be with your children, but we are. And so, you know, we, we miss it, but not really. Although I think he probably really misses the paycheck and so does she. And I'm sure that uh, Lala Kent would probably say bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm just Well, guessing. anyway, they always see, you know, when they see the people on the show filming, they're happy that they're home with their baby and they're not filming. Who wouldn't be happy to be home with their baby and not filming? I mean, I remember how I was. Oh, I loved every single minute of John as a baby. The crying, the crying, <laughs> the no sleep, <laughs> really missing talking to people that were adults. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just making a joke. It was fabulous and I get exactly where they're coming from. I wouldn't want to leave my baby to film either, but it's fun to tease. Okay, guys, <laughs> Vanderpump Rules, do you love it? I do. Hit the subscribe button. I always forget to say it, okay? So like I don't look like a total loser on here. <laughs>